Jumping Jeremy. This is Jeremy. He, of course, is shaped like the letter J. Jeremy likes to jump. Over jugs of juice. And jugs of jelly. Jugs of jam. Jeremy also likes to jump over jars. Jars of jelly. Jars of juice and jars of jam. But then Jamila the jellyfish comes along and asks, why don't you eat the jam and jelly and drink the juice instead of doing all this jumping? What a good idea, says Jeremy. So the two of them have a jam and juice and jelly party. Oh, what fun they have and what a fantastic mess they make. By the end, Jeremy is so full that he cannot possibly jump at all. The sad but happy story of Cry Wife. Cry Wife cried a lot. Her tears could quickly fill a pot. She'd cry if it was time for bed. She'd cry if she had an itchy head. She'd cry if asked to pass the cheese. And She'd cry if asked to eat her peas. She'd cry sometimes, if I recall, because she simply felt too small. She'd cry and cry for no good reason, rain or shine in any season. Once she cried for 13 hours. Her tears were like warm summer showers. Please stop crying, her mum asked sweetly. Your tears will fill the room completely. She cried so much the floor was soaked. She'll flood the house, her father joked. But cry why he cried all night. And they awoke to quite a fright. The house was flooding, roof to floor. Oh no, it's going to burst the door. Oh no, out comes the door. They held on tight, a river flowing. On and on, where are they going? Oh no, this cannot be. A drift out on the tear filled sea, with no house or tree lying in the crying wide. She stopped her tears that very day, and smiles instead now, come what may. When finally the water fell, they got back home and all was well. Cry why cries no more. Sleeping is what bedtime's for. An itchy head will make her smile. She passes cheese with grace and style. Big plate of peas? Mmm, she eats them up. No tears to fill, even a cup. It's fine to cry when tears are due, but cry why? Just a few. The end.